In this video, I'll show you how to complete the blood buffer worksheet. I will complete the first page in its entirety. The first condition is respiratory acidosis. We will refer to the carbon dioxide bicarbonate buffer, which is illustrated in this equation here. CO2 in water produces a hydronium ion and bicarbonate. So the weak acid is CO2, the conjugate base is bicarbonate. I want you to explain each condition with basic acid-base chemistry, Le Chatelier's principle, and the buffer equation. The first part of each page is a summary. So these bullet points summarize the condition. Respiratory acidosis implies an acidic condition, so the pH is too low. Simply circle too low. And because the respiratory system is in the title, the respiratory system is causing the acidic condition. The respiratory system controls the CO2. The CO2 is not normal, so I'm not going to check normal for respiratory. I'm going to check normal for metabolic. Since the respiratory system controls the CO2, which is the weak acid, having too much acid will cause an acidic condition. Simply write high. The other system, which is in the normal state, will compensate. Here, because the respiratory system is abnormal, you could eliminate considering any choices for respiratory system. The metabolic system, which is normal, will compensate. Because the metabolic system controls the base, we need an increase in base in order to offset the increase in acid. The summary section needs to be reflected in each of these explanations. In the acid-base explanation, you need to provide the relative concentrations of CO2 by carbon hydronium and the relative pH. We have already concluded that the CO2 is too high, so I'm going to put an X in this area. And the bicarb is normal. The hydronium ion is too high. Therefore, the pH is too low. The compensating system is the metabolic. Therefore, the bicarb will increase. The CO2 remains abnormal. If the base increases, the hydronium ion will decrease, therefore bringing the pH back up to where it needs to be. What I want you to discover as you complete this worksheet is the, the compensating system will follow the concentration trend of the abnormal system. For example, the CO2 concentration increased. The compensating system, in this case the bicarb, also needed to increase to offset the excess carbon dioxide. In the second page, you will see the CO2 decreasing. Therefore, the bicarb must decrease. A balance between the CO2 and the bicarb must always be maintained. Now on to part two. Here we need to indicate which rate will increase, the forward or reverse, and provide a reason. Because there is an excess of CO2, that will drive the reaction forward. And we simply circle excess CO2. Compensation, we've already concluded, is that the bicarb will increase. An increase in bicarb ore will increase the reverse rate of reaction. And we simply circle excess bicarb. And finally, the buffer equation. Normal pH range for human blood is 7.35 to 7.45. We're going to assume a pKa of 6.41 and a 10 to 1 ratio between the bicarb and the CO2 to maintain normal pH. If you substitute 10 in the numerator and 1 in the denominator, that will produce 10. The log of 10 is 1. If you add 1 to 6.41, you'll end up with 7.41, which is in the middle of this range. For abnormal and compensating states, you will need to provide numbers. We know for the abnormal state, CO2 is too high. Therefore, choose a number greater than 1 and keep the bicarb at 10. So here I'm substituting in 10 for the numerator because the bicarb is normal. 
and I'm going to choose the number two for the higher concentration or increase in carbon dioxide. Now calculate the pH for the abnormal state and you will discover the pH is 7.11, below normal. Next we'll provide numbers for the compensation. The CO2 remains abnormal, so I'm going to enter 2 in the denominator, and we've already concluded in our summary that the bicarb needs to increase in order to offset the increase in acid. To attain the 10 to 1 ratio, indicating the compensating and the abnormal concentrations. And finally, the pH will be back to 7.41.